Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Marcus at McLean's RV in Fort Worth. Today we'll be going over the Regency Ultra. This one is the RL4 plan. Um, this is sitting on a Mercedes chassis, so you'll get all of the um, upgraded Mercedes safety features on here. Um, this is factory painted from Mercedes. This is a 4x4 chassis. They did this themselves in their factory. They uh, paint match this and then texturized it so that way when you're going off road and you start uh, getting stuff scratching up here or rocks bouncing back this has a lot more protection than the paint up here um, nice big open area when you come into the driver passenger seat up here at the front these captain chairs um, you do have this big display up here uh, touch screen right here you do have controls also for when you're going down the road if you want to change your settings on here if you're wanting to change the radio answer the phone um, which is really nice you don't have to reach in your pocket or fumble around here for your phone GPS navigation shows up over here as well um, this does have the bird's eye view 360 backup camera on here it also shows um, in a split screen from the exterior camera that's out there as well your backup camera um, it helps you guide in when you're doing those tight turns uh, if you're off-road or trying to get this thing it's a, a parking lot uh, you do have a button right here which is really nice so you can let passengers in uh, from the side door that we'll go walk around and look at uh, it is automatic you pull it one time and that's it it'll open same thing to close it for you it makes it really easy when you have a bunch of stuff in your hands and you're trying to load and unload this thing uh, you do have uh, the uh, upgrade right here where you have the memory touch set up for your seat. So if you have somebody who's going to be moving this thing around for you, but you know you're real particular about how you like to sit and when you're really comfortable, you can set your number and it'll put it right back there. You can do that for two more individuals as well. It does have the heated seats on there as well, which is nice. Um, let's go around this side. Uh, this does have the Truman system on here. You do have three lithium batteries, so they work really nice together to help you save energy um, and be able to run the big AC that they put on this thing, too. This thing has a 22,000 uh, BTU AC on here, which is a lot larger than what you would typically see on a B-Van. Usually they'll run with a 13.5 BTU or they'll run with a uh, 15,000 BTU. So this one is a little bit bigger than the Truman system, um, helps you be able to start that thing with a lower amperage so that way you can run it stay cool while you're going down the road big big wide open area back here um, as you can see the doors fold all the way around overhead cabinets as soon as you get in here with speakers and lights uh, you do have this table here folds open and closed for you you can get it out the way but it does move around so you and your guests can either share a meal um, or y'all can uh, read, do work, homework for the kids if y'all are traveling out as a family. This does turn into a bed. You can use it as two separate ones or you have one full bed going all the way across which is a, a giant sleeping space. You can sleep a, a family of four if you need to. Uh, we just walk around this other side and then we'll get into uh, the inside of the coach for the rest of it like the wet bath and extra storage space that you have in here. I, so before we go inside, um, I just wanted to touch on this entertainment setup over here. Um, so you do have a TV inside that you can take off of that bracket and slide onto this one. Um, if you're out camping and you still want to watch Super Bowl, you got to settle the kids down while you're outside. You know, everybody gets excited when the food is cooking. Um, you have your 110s, you have your cable satellite, and then you also have your HDMI port here as well. Um, so whatever you're wanting to stream, right, smart TVs are, are a big thing now. Take your hotspot, bring your TV out here, um, and it's, it's a good time. Now, you do have this table that, you know, like I said, you can put drinks or food on, but you can also raise it up um, and turn it over your countertop over there or off to the side of it and get some additional counter space or prep space if you're having people go in and out. Um, we're about to head in and look at the wet bath like I mentioned earlier. Um, on the way in, you do have this magnetic hold uh, bug screen right here. so. You don't have to worry about zipping it up every time. You just make sure it closes back together and it has a good seal on it so that way you don't have to worry about mosquitoes and bugs flying in there. All right, so now that we're on the interior, I kind of want to touch on these windows really quick. Um, you know, if you go somewhere up north and you have a nice cool breeze in the morning time, you just want to crack a window open, you can. Um, you do have this screen that's sitting here. 
Um, if you're not worried about the bugs and you're a true nature person and you like to connect with them wherever you are, you do have the option of sliding the screen over. Um, also good if you need to get out in an emergency situation as well. Uh, right on the other side of me, uh, this is the TV that I was telling you about that you can um, take outside and continue partying on out there, having fun by the bonfire. Like I said, settle the kids down or a few and whoever you're traveling with have the favorite movie or Netflix series that you're watching while you're out. You can still do that while you're enjoying uh, being outside in the elements. You do have a control panel here as well uh, that can control your lights, uh, AC, all that good stuff. And then you do have light switches here. Um, so you can control them individually. Cabinet space up top. On both sides of you, you have the overhead cabinet space. You do have um, the spray hose for your quick connect. Um, that way you can go ahead and use that as an outdoor shower. Um, clean your feet off. Uh, if you go out muddy and clean your shoes, that way you don't have to worry about tracking it inside. Uh, the floors in here are going to be a nice thick linoleum so if you do get something inside really easy to wipe up easy to sweep out or if you keep something uh, compact like a swiffer it makes for a quick easy clean in here moving on down here the important part kitchen area you have your uh, graystone microwave right here right under that you have your induction uh, cooktop 12 volt refrigerator and then you have your stereo system right here. Now to get to the part that I keep talking about, which is the wet bath. So wet bath in this one has a hook that you can open up. And it also doubles as extra storage space, right? So if you have clothes, extra gear that you're taking with you, you don't want it jumping around, rattling, um, falling over while you're going down the road, you can put it in here. Um, and it's a bit of a dance, you know, you take them out over here if you're going to use the restroom. Your shower head does hook up a little bit higher over here. Um, and then you do have three different modes for your toilet. You have eco, uh, which will be mindful of the amount of water that you have. If you're going to uh, be full tanks and somewhere that you can refill, you have normal flush and then you have an empty on there as well. Um, so before we go, just wanted to touch on the warranties on this thing, which is pretty cool. Um, you do have a three year, 36,000 mile uh, warranty that is actually transferable. It is a transferable manufacturer's warranty. Um, there are very, very, very few companies that will allow this to happen. Um, you can purchase this thing a few years down the road, um, decide that you want to trade it in, or if you want to sell it to a friend and the manufacturer warranties, um, are still going to be applied to whoever it is that you sell it to, which is a really awesome benefit. Um, thank you for tuning in with this again today. Uh, this is Marcus at McLean's RV in Fort Worth. See you later.